Got another drone comparison video. This time I'm going to be comparing the Skydio 2 Plus's keyframes to the Mavic 3's waypoints. So I'll start off with the Skydio 2 Plus. Just programmed a simple flight path, starting off a little far, pushing in, doing some twists and turns. Programmed the drone to go about six miles an hour. Now I should be staying in the center of the frame at all times. So let's see how well it does. Nice and smooth. It was a little windy this day too, about sustained winds of about 12 miles an hour. But as you can see, the Skydio 2 Plus does a really good job. It's just footage as smooth as butter. And yeah, I can't ask for much more, so I'm very impressed with it. Ease on in a little closer here. And it's keeping me nice and centered. And yeah, good job. So next up, Mavic 3. Now, the Mavic, I've already looked at this footage and there's like some micro jitters in it, so I'm going to give you a, a graphic warning when they're getting ready to happen. And you got to look closer, you might miss them. Um, if you're watching this on a cell phone, you might not even be able to see them. But look close when I give you the warning and see what you think. Uh, again, I've programmed a similar flight path. Not exact, but similar with some few little twists and turns. Pushing forward and then flying back a little bit, rotating. So here comes the first micro jitter. Three, two, one, right there. Did you see it? So it's, again, it's, it's not major, but it's just uh, enough to mess up the footage, in my opinion. So there's another one. And then <clears throat> coming a little closer. And it'll do it one more time. Mm. Yep, there it is again. So I was only going to do this test this one day, but after seeing those micro jitters, I was like, well, let me let me try it again on a different day to see if it repeats itself. So a week later, took the drones out. And here we go again, the Skydio 2 programmed about 15 to 20 keyframes and again like it's on rails very smooth very impressive it's it's just like um like it's on glass so doing a good job okay bring on the Mavic 3 Yep, bring it on. There it is. Notice the Mavic 3 has sort of more natural colors. <clears throat> Depending on what you like. I like both. Skydio 2 Plus has sort of more saturated type colors, but I like both of them. So Mavic 3, I think it, it's better at waypoints further away. Once it starts getting close to the subject, it, that's where the problems start. So again, we got some more micro jitters in this footage. So here comes one right there. And we got another one coming up. There's another one. And another one coming up. There we go. So it's doing the same thing it did on the other day. It's just not as smooth, and I was surprised. I figured DJI would, would be better with, with all the drones they have on the market. So I do one more test, just at another location, just to see if it repeats the same results, and it does. So this time the drone's going 10 miles an hour, so I've bumped it up a little bit, going a little faster. Again, Skydio 2 Plus. Very smooth. Does a great job. 
follows the, the path exactly the way I programmed it. Okay. Mavic 3's turn. And on this first the beginning here, I'm a little bit off center. I'm, I'm not going to fault the Mavic 3 for that because it was the sun was blaring in my eyes and I might have been a little off on that first uh, waypoint. But starting right here, I should be definitely in the center. So it, it cuts my head off a little bit there. And it's just, it bobbles around more than the, the Skydio. So it's just, it's just not as good actually. I don't know, DJI needs to work on their, their waypoints I think and, and try to catch up to Skydio. So that concludes his test.